Hey everyone, I'm Toby from the DJI Enterprise team and I'm so excited to be able to show you our latest flagship drone, the Matrice 350 RTK. The Matrice series began with the launch of the M100 all the way back in 2014. The Matrice line was built to be a professional tool capable of demanding commercial and industrial applications. And with each iteration, we've incorporated feedback from the front lines on what kind of tool our end users need. All of this culminates here today with the M350 RTK. In this video, I'll go through the major differences M350 RTK has from its predecessor, the M300 RTK, and show you why M350 RTK is the apex of commercial drones. We've got a lot to unpack, so I'll dive right in. Up first, I want to highlight the M350's durability and weather resistance. Our end users need a tool they can rely on in any condition. The M350 RTK is built to withstand temperatures as low as negative 20 degrees Celsius and as high as 50 degrees Celsius, or negative 4 to 122 Fahrenheit. We've upgraded its ingress protection rating from IP45 on the M300 to IP55 on the M350. This means it's entirely rain and sandproof, even in its folded configuration. When you need to focus on the mission at hand, the last thing we want is for you to have to worry about the weather. Of course, we don't recommend flying in the rain unless it's absolutely essential. But with M350 RTK, we've made a drone that you can count on to rise to the challenge. Speaking of durable, we've also got DJI RC Plus, which comes in rated at IP54. This was launched a year ago with the M30, and end user feedback we've received has been overwhelmingly positive, so we decided to package it together with the M350. Compared with the M300 RDK's smart controller enterprise, you can see the RC Plus is definitely much larger with a larger screen real estate, improved ergonomics, and additional physical buttons. These buttons allow you to switch camera views and operate your drone without having to take your fingers away from the control sticks. So you'll have an overall more seamless, safe flight experience. M350 RTK also supports advanced dual control, so you and a partner can pilot together. For example, one of you flies, the other handles the gimbal and camera. For M300 RTK owners who aren't ready to upgrade, I'm happy to say that DJI RC Plus is fully compatible with the M300 and can be bought separately. Linking your DJI RC Plus to the M350 RTK is our upgraded OcuSync 3 Enterprise transmission system. This is powered by four built-in antennas, one on each of the arms, one here under the FPV camera, and then also one on the backside. We've also upgraded the M350 RTK's propellers, which are made of a new non-conductive material that's not only much cheaper to manufacture, but also no longer affects antenna signal. With more antenna options, depending on where the drone is in relation to the RC, the transmission system can always select the most stable, most reliable connection. The M350 RTK enables triple channel 1080p video transmission and seamless swapping between input feeds, even in complex environments at distances up to 20 kilometers. Up next, I wanna talk about safety and reliability. When it launched three years ago, the M300 RTK redefined industry standards when it comes to drone safety features with six directional sensing and positioning, built-in redundancies of vital flight components. M350 RTK has all of this with some additional quality of life improvements we think will make a big difference. First, we've redesigned the arm's locking mechanism. Here we have a magnet that detects whether or not the lock has been secured or not. If the arm is improperly installed, M350 RTK will prevent takeoff and you'll see a warning message displayed in Pilot 2. Next, we've upgraded the M350 RTK's FPV camera to have improved performance in low light conditions. This is actually the same component and sensor that you'd find in the M30. So if duty calls after hours, like for a search and rescue mission, you can use the FPV camera to clearly see the horizon or any nearby obstacles and ensure mission safety. Speaking of low light performance, I'm happy to say that M350 RTK has backward compatibility with all M300 payloads, which includes the H20N here for true night operations, H20T for inspections and thermal work, L1 for LiDAR, and P1 for aerial surveying. Through DJI's payload SDK, the M350 RTK supports a library of third-party payloads developed for specific industrial applications. A drone this large can be tricky to transport, so we've redesigned M350 RTK's protective case. Look side by side with the M300's case and you can see just how much we've reduced its overall footprint. When on the move, it's got 360 degree wheels, so it's much easier to roll around. Let me give you a tour of the foam inserts inside, which we've also completely redesigned. We've got space here for the drone, which is inserted upside down facing outwards. Under the drone, there's space for a pair of batteries 
The legs or landing gear can fit here under the lid, and there's also space for backup propellers. On the corners, we've got slots for payloads, so this one can hold any of the H-series payloads, H-20, H-20T, H-20N, and this one can hold P-1 or L-1. Here, there's space for two TB-65s, or if you take out the inserts, you can fit an extra DJI RC+. In total, you can fit three pairs of TB-65s, one pair beneath the drone, one pair in the drone, and one pair here next to the RC. Speaking of batteries, I need to spend some time unpacking the M350 RTK's battery system because we've put a lot of time into this. Every drone pilot knows how tedious battery management can be, making sure you've got charged batteries ready to go when you need them. We've reduced its overall footprint and gave it 360 degree wheels. Inside, we've got space for four WB37 remote controller batteries and eight TB65 batteries. Fully charged, a pair of these can power the M350 RTK for 55 minutes of flight. They're fully hot swappable, so you can land, swap in a fresh pair, and take off again with minimal interruption for your mission. A lot of work has been made optimizing the batteries, so you can expect 400 charge cycles on each before needing to replace them. This effectively decreases the operating cost of each M350 RTK flight. We've added a new heat sink on each battery, which lines up with these fan vents here in the charging case. So after landing, these can be pretty hot, so the fans help blow cool air across the batteries so they can charge sooner and faster. We've also moved the charge status indicator here so you can see charge status while it's in the case. The charging case itself has also received some optimization. I wanna highlight the charging modes. We've got storage mode, which charges the batteries to 50% and then stops there. If you don't need to fly in the near future, this is the best choice for prolonging your battery's life. We've got ready to fly mode, which charges each pair to 90% one pair at a time. So if you're out flying and can rotate a couple pairs of batteries, charging to 90% is optimal. We've got standard mode, which charges to 100%. If you're a first responder or you need your M350 RTK for search and rescue, this mode is for you. On the side here, we've added a 65 watt USB-C charging port. So this could be used to charge a phone or a laptop. On the opposite side, we've got another port for the RC+. Plus. It's also an interface, so you can see the battery status, how much battery is left, if it's charging or not, how much time to full charge. And you can also use this interface to update the charging case's firmware and the firmware of the battery. Lastly, the battery station and the TB65s are completely compatible with M300 and can be bought separately. So there you have it. I hope you're all excited for the M350 RTK and all the new features it brings. It's been three years since we originally launched the M300 RTK, and we're extremely happy with how well it's done. We've put a lot of thought into how we could improve the attention to detail and the quality of life improvements we've put into the M350 RTK. Which feature or upgrade are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to DJI Enterprise for more content.